What if beneath the quiet ponds of rural China, an ancient secret the size of an empire had been hiding in plain sight, undocumented, unexplained, and untouched by time? In the lush heart of Zhejiang province, an accidental discovery in 1992 revealed a staggering enigma. A sprawling network of massive man-made caverns carved directly into the bedrock, now known as the Longyu Caves. These underground chambers are unlike anything found in traditional records or folklore, and their sheer scale, craftsmanship, and the eerie silence of history around them have left experts around the world stunned. How were they built with such geometric precision? Who masterminded this colossal project? And perhaps most puzzling, why does not a single ancient document mention their existence? The origin story of these caves is as astonishing as the discovery itself. It all began when a local villager, curious about the mysterious depth of what appeared to be a bottomless pond, decided to investigate further. With the help of neighbors, he rented a water pump and drained the pool, only to unveil the entrance to a massive subterranean chamber carved with near-perfect symmetry. Encouraged by the find, the community repeated the process at other nearby ponds. What they uncovered was nothing short of miraculous. 24 enormous caves, all hand-carved with deliberate intent, all hidden for centuries beneath the surface. Each cavern is a masterclass in ancient engineering, averaging 30 meters in height and covering around 1,000 square meters each. These spaces aren't just big, they're enormous. The estimated volume of stone removed during construction approaches 1 million cubic meters, rivaling the labor required to build the Great Pyramid of Giza. Such a task would have necessitated thousands of workers possibly working in shifts for decades. Yet not a single tool, not a single artifact from the construction process has been found. It's as if the builders left no trace, only the rooms themselves. Even more mystifying is the total absence of historical mentions. Despite China's rich tradition of record keeping, there is no known imperial edict, historical manuscript, or even whispered legend that references the caves. This gaping hole in the historical narrative has given rise to a flood of theories. Some scholars believe the caves may have been used to store grain or weapons safely hidden from enemies. Others suggest they were sacred spaces, temples, shrines, or ritual halls meant to serve a spiritual or esoteric purpose hidden from the public eye. What truly distinguishes the Longyu Caves are the intricate and uniform patterns of chisel marks lining the walls and ceilings. These parallel lines are not random. They appear methodical, possibly symbolic, and are identical in each cave. This consistency implies a centralized planning authority and a shared cultural or religious significance, an early form of architectural coding. The sheer precision also raises questions about the tools and techniques available at the time, challenging long-held assumptions about ancient Chinese engineering capabilities. Comparisons have been drawn between the Longyu Caves and the underground cities of Cappadocia in modern-day Turkey. Like the latter, Longyu showcases advanced subterranean design. But unlike Cappadocia, where evidence of habitation, smoke residue and household tools abound, the Longyu Caves are hauntingly empty. No bones, no ash, no daily debris. Their pristine state suggests they weren't meant for ordinary life but perhaps something far more symbolic or secretive. Inside the caves, you'll find more than just empty chambers. Stone pillars rise towards ceilings that never collapse, and carved bridges and staircases lead nowhere. These architectural features seem to defy utility. Why build a staircase with no destination or a bridge with no span? Some experts believe these elements may have had ceremonial or symbolic functions. Others speculate they were created to demonstrate engineering prowess perhaps to impress deities or rival states. Etched onto the walls are occasional carvings, mythical creatures, celestial motifs and unfamiliar symbols. These may link the caves to ancient Chinese cosmology, possibly indicating that the site held astrological or spiritual importance. Yet without supporting texts or inscriptions, these interpretations remain educated guesses. Not far from Longyu, other ancient feats, such as the Shimon Ancient Path, a road painstakingly carved along sheer cliffs more than 2,000 years ago, hint at a regional tradition of ambitious stonework, 
could these projects be connected? Unsurprisingly, the mystery has attracted its share of fringe theories. Some propose that the caves are remnants of a forgotten high-tech civilization. Others go even further, suggesting extraterrestrial influence or deliberate suppression of historical knowledge. While these ideas fuel the imagination, more grounded hypotheses continue to gain traction. Some researchers now theorize that the caves functioned as massive quarries, their stone hauled away to build palaces, city walls or imperial complexes during the Qin or Han dynasties. Yet even this explanation fails to clarify why such aesthetic effort was poured into what should have been purely utilitarian spaces. If the caves were just quarries, why carve vaulted ceilings and decorative walls? Why make each cavern symmetrical and chisel every surface with care? And why erase all record of it? These lingering questions suggest a purpose far greater and more enigmatic than mere resource extraction. The mystery of the Long Yu Caves forces us to rethink what ancient societies were capable of. Their scale, precision and anonymity speak to a civilization with both the means and the will to build something monumental and to keep its purpose a secret. As archaeologists continue to explore submerged sites throughout the region, the discovery of other ruins hints that much of humanity's history remains hidden underground, waiting for the right moment, or the right question, to bring it to light. Just as Stonehenge continues to challenge our understanding of prehistoric Europe, Long Yu reminds us that Asia has its own unresolved wonders. Both sites stir the imagination, forcing us to confront the uncomfortable possibility that our ancestors knew, and did, more than we give them credit for. Perhaps the truth lies in a convergence of motives, practicality, politics, and religion interwoven into a single grand undertaking. Maybe these caves were multifunctional, their roles shifting across generations, their meanings lost with time. Whatever their original purpose, the Long Yu Caves remain a stone-carved echo of ambition and mystery. Standing at their shadowy entrance, you can almost feel the silence pushing back, whispering of forgotten workers, veiled rituals, and secrets left behind. They ask no questions, but they inspire many. The real treasure, as always, may not lie in the stone, but in our relentless desire to understand it. Dust began to settle on the mystery of that forgotten civilization. A new cave was uncovered, this time in the heart of a scorching desert, but what lay inside wasn't a relic of the past. It was a secret so dark it shook even the most seasoned scientists to their core.